Okay, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a recipe. I've been doing this recipe for a long, long time. It's uh, very simple, uh, but if you want a really, really good cup of coffee, this is for all the people that love iced coffee. Okay, you can do this hot as well, but this is for how I make <clears throat> my iced coffee. If you've never steeped coffee before, follow along with this recipe and you'll learn how to do this. Now, it is a little bit time consuming. The total time for this is going to be probably three minutes to put it together, but it's gonna cost you about 24 hours and three minutes uh, because you have to let this coffee sit in the water covered for 24 hours. Uh, I wouldn't steep it any longer than uh, I wouldn't steep it any longer than, than 30 hours because then it might get a little bit bitter. But 24 hours is usually the mark. So if you got up and you did this recipe uh, in the morning, uh, 7 o'clock, uh, the next morning, 7 o'clock, your coffee's ready. Okay, let, let's let's get on with this. Uh, super simple. Um, okay, uh, so all together, and I'm only making enough coffee to fit in to this carafe that I have here. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to do five cups of water. I did, this is filtered water, by the way, too. Um, so I have a total of five cups of filtered water. I have uh, a carafe, like I said. I have a bowl. That's, this is where this is all going to happen. And I have, um, I have my, my, my ground coffee. Now, I didn't grind this this morning because I looked and I didn't have any whole beans. That's fine. Um, and you might need a grinder as well, okay? If you have a grinder and you want to grind your own beans, that is probably going to be the best way to go because you're actually grinding the bean as you're using it. But there's nothing wrong with using, um, you know, pre-ground coffee. There's just not. If you grind your own coffee, make sure you grind it a little bit on the coarser side, and then you'll be all set. The other thing you're going to need, too, is you're going to need some cheesecloth, okay? So this is what uh, you can get this. Yeah, you can get this in a variety of places. You can get this in uh, probably like your local supermarket. You could probably you can get this in like Walmart or whatever. Uh, it's going to cost you about five dollars for that, but you'll have that for a while. Okay, so let's get on with this. Uh, oh, and another thing. Hey, you guys are back. You guys are here again. Hit that subscribe button for me. Click on the like button and ring the bell. This way you'll know when I throw up a video like this. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's move along with this. So we're just gonna set some of this stuff aside uh, because we're not going to need it. I uh, just put it up here just to show you guys what you're gonna need total. Okay, <laughs> when I said this is easy, this is super easy. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna just take the filtered water. We're gonna pour the five cups. We're going to pour the five cups of water in here, <laughs> and we're going to take, oh, uh, I, I did say that I had the, the ground coffee. Uh, the measurements, the, the, the kind of standard measurements for this here is um, it's about two tablespoons for one cup of water, okay? So in here I have um, ten tablespoons of of coffee and this is this is it right here there you go that's how you're making your coffee okay and then the only thing I do is I just take it and I just kind of just get it all incorporated you really don't have to do much here this is going to do its own thing so uh, if you've ever not steeped your own coffee or done it this way this is how you do it Okay, so that's it. We just mix this up. Now it's going to look like mud and it's going to get more concentrated as as it goes by, but that's what we're going to that's what we're going to have, okay? So, we'll set that aside. Uh, another another important thing that you guys see how it kind of looks like mud, right? Cuz that's what it kind of looks like chocolate pudding. And we're going to leave this. We're going to leave that just like that. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to Put a lid on it just like that and this is where it's going to stay 
for 24 hours. The timer starts now. Um, one other quick thing is when you, if you're doing like four cups of water, then you're going to get about three to three and a half cups of coffee because you have to strain this through the cheesecloth and a fine mesh um, strainer, basically. But we'll show you that. We're going to let this hold up for 24 hours, and I will be back with you guys tomorrow morning to show you how to complete this. Okay, um, simple recipe. Hang in there. All right, everybody. So it has been 24 hours so since I... Uh, uh, was steeping this coffee. Uh, so it was 24 hours pretty much right on the dot. Um, so I'm going to show you what you're going to need for this second part of it, okay? Uh, you're going to need your craft uh, or some kind of container to put it in. This is just like I showed you in the, uh, in the beginning when I set it up. This is just what I use. Um, you're going to need some cheesecloth, which I also showed you, and you're just going to need a pair of scissors to cut the cheesecloth, okay? Uh, you're also going to need, I got this off, off camera here, but you're going to need a fine mesh screener. All right, like that. And you're just going to need a saucepan, just like that. Okay? All right. So, um, I'm going to move this stuff off to the side a little bit. And I'm going to show you what this now looks like after 24 hours. Now, like I said before, this is... Huh, that's, God, that smells so good. My kitchen's going to smell like coffee the whole day now. Um, okay, so this has had plenty of time to, like I said, don't go over 30 hours with this, right? Uh, because it may start getting a little bitter after that. Uh, this is definitely the old way to steep coffee and make your coffee. Uh, it's a little time consuming, but the payoff, you're not going to get this out of a coffee maker. Um, and I use a Ninja Bar. Um, for iced coffee, for special brews, classic blue brews, uh, brewing over ice, and it's good in a pinch, but if you really want a good cup of coffee, iced coffee, um, this is the way to go. Okay, so this is what this looks like. It's just like mud, really, is what it's going to be. All right, so this is, I'm going to push this aside careful with that and what we're going to do is we're going to grab we're going to grab our scissors and we're going to grab our our cheesecloth okay and this is just a cloth that just has if you don't know what cheesecloth is uh it's just got little it, it almost looks like gauze uh if you ever had surgery or whatever it kind of looks like gauze um so we're just going to roll out some of this you know about, about so much the more i usually like to either double or triple it up um, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Okay, I'm going to set this aside now. Over here, we're going to bring in our, our pot. And then we're going to just take the cheesecloth and we're going to kind of double it up like that. And we're going to lay it over this screener. Just like that. Nothing fancy. And we're just going to pour in now the four cups of water. This is probably going to come out to about three cups uh, altogether, and we're just going to we're just going to strain it through the cheesecloth and then through the the strainer, the strainer and cheesecloth. Okay. So <laughs> this is going to be fantastic. I think you like, you know, if you guys get like spoiled to make it like this, and we're just going to drain this off too, uh, just a little bit. Yeah, you don't have to get crazy. I do like to, I do like to squeeze it a little bit, you know, a good squeeze is always good. Okay, so just let me flip around here and get my, get my mopine, and then we'll show you what we, we show you what we get. It's going to be really difficult to see this, but this now is your coffee. Okay? So, I'm going to take our carafe, just like this. And you can use a, if this gives me trouble, I probably will. Uh, but we're going to just pour this directly into our carafe.
Sorry about the camera angle. Okay, and we're gonna push this aside. This now is your iced coffee, okay? Now you can set this, you can use this right away if you want to, or you can put this into the refrigerator. You can let it chill if you want to. Um, I, I really don't find difference in flavor either way, um, but what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you exactly what I do with this. So I figure since it's a drink, we are gonna head into the bar room and I am gonna pour this and serve this up uh, very quickly. Uh, we're gonna head into, uh, we're gonna head into the other room and we're gonna serve this up. This is gonna be, this is great for breakfast. Okay, a couple seconds, we're almost done. Hey, that would be a great time to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. If you like coffee, you iced coffee lovers, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. We do each one of these a week, food, mostly food. We'll get into some drinks, holidays are here. Um, and hit that like button for me, will you? Okay, I'll be right back. We're gonna go into the bar room. Okay, so I'm back and I am in the bar room. I thought that this would probably be the place to pour a drink, uh, even though it's coffee. Uh, you can make this non-alcoholic or you can make it alcoholic. It's totally up to you. Personally, me, if I'm doing a non-alcoholic, I like to put just like a little French vanilla creamer in this. It makes it nice, really silky, it gives it a nice little touch. All right, and then I have a couple of uh, bottles here uh, just to give you an idea of what you could do with this. You could throw a little Bailey's in it uh, as well is fantastic. And um, you can throw some DeSerrano uh, as well. Um, I know people sometimes make fun of me the way I pronounce that, but it is what it is. So you can also throw, like I said, some Amaretto. You can throw a shot of Amaretto in that as well. So there's a couple of things that, you know, you guys can do if you'd like to. All right, so first we're gonna start off with, um, we're gonna start off with a little bit of ice, not too much. Just a couple of cubes on the bottom here. Okay, just to start. All right, and now we're just gonna get into pouring the coffee. Maybe just just about three quarters of the way up. Okay. Now we're gonna hit it with, we're gonna hit this with a, just a little bit of Bailey's, about a shot of Bailey's. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic this morning. I think I was in the mood for this, right? Well, you know, if not, I'm definitely in the mood for it now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit more ice to it. Okay, and we're just going to give it a quick, we're just going to give it a quick stir. Just like that. All right, so this is how I make my iced coffee. I'm telling you, if you make this iced coffee and you steep this for 24 hours, I'm telling you, you, you on those maybe special occasions, you might not want to do it every single day, but on those special occasions, you'll want to do this. This is, this is awesome. I can't stress it enough. All right. So that is how I do this. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Put a thumbs up if you guys did. Um, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and that's about it for this. This is great Christmas stuff too. So, um, you know, Christmas is coming up. Make this for Christmas as well. Okay. All right, everybody. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you very soon next week with another recipe. Salute. Oh, yes. That gets two thumbs up. I will see you in the next recipe.